Yo, what up Street Dogs, Eric Kim. All right, some, some turbo thoughts. So just kind of channeling some Nietzsche vibes. So basically, one notion that I'm very interested in about is, you know, obviously philosophy and stuff like that, but you know, generally we humans and biological organisms, we have a will to self-preservation, right? So we're afraid of death and we're gonna avoid circumstances or situations which, um, you know, compromises our self-preservation. But it seems like once you become like this Dionysian berserker, uberman, uberman, whatever, or this intoxicated artist, philosopher, warrior, soul, then I think at some point we actually start to disregard self-preservation in so far much as creating our artworks and, and, and also attempting for a heroic life of glory is far more important and interesting to us. So some examples. Um, so even, okay, so I'll give you an example. So during these uh, COVID times, I'm still walking around and making these videos and thinking and uh, talking my nonsense. And if I really, 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 cared 100% quadrillion times for my self-preservation, I would just fucking not leave my house, like, at all. Yo, check out these trees. So beautiful. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't leave my house. And, yeah, and at all. But for me, I care so much more about my artistic production that I'm willing to put myself at risk to, to do my videos, my vlogs, to think and to, uh, to live. And I kind of like this. So I almost feel that actually, if you want to become the most epic, you know, you possible, it does seem that like we actually need to not care so much for our personal self-preservation. So for example, I, uh, I recently read the Iliad and you think about these heroes. Essentially, they care more about glory and honor than even the chance of their own potential death. And you know, essentially everyone in this story dies, right? Like Hector dies, is killed by Achilles, Achilles ends up dying, Patroclus dies, everyone dies, right? And what I find interesting is that, you know, these, these guys know that they have a short limited life, yet they kind of don't really care. And it's, you know, you know obviously it's, you know, it's sad because even their, they leave their wives and their children behind, it's kind of sad, whatever. But in terms of philosophically speaking, you know, their story, their name lasts forever. Um, and the, the names of their spouses and children don't. So it just kind of comes down to what are your own personal life goals for yourself? And, you know, how much do you care? And what are you willing to sacrifice for what you believe in in your life? Now, so for the most part, I generally tend to believe more in terms of uh, kind of ancient or classic or old school uh, mythologies, uh, ethics, morality, thoughts, notions on heroism and stuff like that. And for me, it seems like it's a, it's a much more interesting life. And, you know, obviously, and actually even right now, the only people I really, really care for, obviously, is my life and Cindy's life and, you know, friends and family and stuff like that. But, you know, certainly, like my personal opinion, my, my belief is, you know, I do feel that I have a very unique set of circumstances to help me get to where I am in a, a unique mind or whatever. And I'm not going to let that spoil and I'm not going to waste it doing no, no basic stuff and hopefully share some of these turbo thoughts with you because one of my ultimate goal is to for myself to become an uh to become superhuman or a superman or ubermensch like Nietzsche calls it and also maybe to just help help humanity just a little bit in terms of 
augmenting our courage and augmenting our souls and stuff like that. So, you know, philosophy, art, kind of stuff like that is essentially what I'm ultimately interested in. And, you know, the internet and stuff like that. So, there's still so many new possibilities for our souls and it seems like now that the world is kind of cleared up a little bit, I don't know, maybe this could be a fresh, um, a breath of fresh air where we could actually start to re-challenge ourselves to think about our lives carte blanche and for us to kind of pursue things which, which really truly do interest us in some sort of meaningful way. And, you know, now I feel like we're going through society 2.0 where everything's being deconstructed, reconstructed, and it really does give you the chance to to think to yourself and ask like what's really important in your life and what are you willing to sacrifice and do with your life. So I think if self-preservation or too much too much worry about you getting you know destroyed gets in your way, then that seems like that's gonna be one of the biggest fetters to your own personal freedom. So what, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to risk? That's what life is all about.